Hey, I'm Billy. And I'm Francis. And we're the Fuji guys. guys. I got my XE3 ready to go. And I got my X100F. And we are going to go shoot around Tokyo. Let's go. Let's go. Obviously, when you look at the X100 uh, series of cameras, the first thing you notice is that it's actually beautiful. It's a very stylish camera, but it's also compact, so you can just bring it everywhere with you. I would not say it's pocketable, let's be realistic, but if I want just to throw a camera in my bag, it's small enough and I can just walk around. It's very light and it just feels good. Now the X-E3 is very versatile. It is small and compact like the X-T100. It has the flexibility with the interchangeable lens. But what's also flexible is, is that it's not just a photo-oriented camera only. It does offer things like 4K video. So at a quick glance, I can quickly film great looking videos in a very compact size. Next thing I really enjoy about the X100 is something that might sound cliche, but it's really the minimalist approach to it. Like, I can just go and fly out to Tokyo and just bring this single camera and be okay with it. Having that single lens fixed to the camera really relieves me of any stress of carrying this lens. Oh, I should have brought this lens. I just go with the 23, which is a 35 equivalent, which is perfect for me, and just not care about it. And that pushes me to really see differently and then move and get creative. So that's, I think that's a big point. If you want to leave stress away, just go out and shoot. So one of the differences the X-E3 has over the X100, of course, is on the back of the camera, it has a touch screen. And the touch is great because I can quickly move the focus points, I can tap to shoot, but better yet, when I play back my image, I could use it as I use my smartphone by you know, pinching the zoom and swiping the images uh, so I can quickly navigate and check focus. And I like that part of it when it comes to the touch screen. So one of the really nice and unique feature about the X100 series is actually the built-in ND filter. So for days like this where it's really sunny and I want to shoot wide open, I can actually do so. Just go into the menu and activate the ND, which actually give me a three-stop cut of light. That way I can shoot wide open, no problem. Most cameras nowadays have Wi-Fi connectivity, both the X100F as well as the X-E3 does have it. What's nice about the X-E3, of course, is that it does have low energy Bluetooth. The great thing about Bluetooth is that there's extra functionality, not just about simplicity of connectivity, but also that in the fact that I can use this new uh, Bluetooth remote option that's built into the new Fujifilm camera remote app, which makes it easy for me to trigger the shutter on this camera. So another reason why the X100 is pretty much my favorite camera of all Fujifilm cameras is that it incorporates a leaf shutter. So a couple of benefits from that is that you can actually sync any flashes to any speed on this camera. And other than that, I really enjoy doing street photography and this leaf shutter makes it so quiet, you can barely hear it. I think that, you know, stealthiness of this camera is, is really interesting for street photography, but can be utilized for other things like portrait photography in the studio and stuff, just because of that leaf shutter. So if you 
you're traveling with the X-T3, it's a perfect camera personally. It's lightweight and compact. What's also a great one on vacation is that you sometimes want to be in the picture with your family and people don't understand shutter speeds, aperture, half pressing the, the, the shutter button to get it in focus. And so with the X-T3, it does have an auto switch, which when you flip it, automatically controls things like autofocus and exposure. It also turns on face detection so that when you give this camera to someone to take your picture, you and your family will always be in focus. So one of the unique feature of the X100 and X Pro as well, but the X100 line was really the first to incorporate it, is the hybrid viewfinder. Fujifilm is the only company that does it and that's what makes it so unique. So you can actually bring it up to your eye and see throughout the window. So as you see in real life, but if that's something you don't want to use, you can actually bring up and use the electronic viewfinder. So whatever works best for you is good, but if you want to use the optical viewfinder, it gives you these frame lines, which actually lets you know what's coming into your frame, which would actually made the rangefinder type of camera famous. Now, of course I said it was minimalist and nothing to think about with that fixed lens, but if you really want to go forward and beyond that 35 mil, you could go with the two uh, converter lens that we have, which is the 20 equivalent and the 50 which would give you that flexibility you might need if you want to do portrait or maybe more of a landscape wide shot. Personally, I stick with this, but that's an option for you. shooting in Tokyo with the X-E3 and the X-100F. Uh, we actually luckily bumped into a good friend, Hongi, from uh, Korea. Anuncio. Yes, yeah. Yes, and uh, you know, maybe you can give your thoughts on the two cameras because you shoot with the X Pro too, which yeah. is kind of a, a hybrid between the X100 and the X-E3, right? Uh, I'd rather use the X100F uh, right. as my choice uh, because the hybrid uh, viewfinder uh, makes me more comfortable right, right. while while shooting and it, it looks nicer right yeah. the camera is beautiful and also and also <laughs> I like I like to uh, street photography right. so yeah that's why I choose this 100f and I think a lot of people do choose it it has a nice appeal to it mm -hmm. sure you know uh, what's your thoughts on that well I stand by my choice of uh, the X100f because beautiful camera it's small and it does a job and obviously you get you know same thing as xc3 in, in terms of sensor film simulation that are beautiful but it's just more compact i don't want right. to bring lenses you know and, and get in that situation where do i bring this lens and then i don't and right, then i regret right, right. right that way it's just that lens and that's all i'm bringing well, so to me yeah x100f definitely I think for me though, uh, I mean both cameras are great, uh, they have great image quality, you know both of them have things like film simulation which you know Fujifilm is well known for, mm -hmm. classic chrome for street photography and even uh, Acros uh, for sort of unique uh, portraits in black and white. Uh, I personally actually like the X-E3 uh, because it's a little bit more flexible for me. I have younger children, I go on vacation and I more look at people shots and where I'm at versus you know street photography and so having the flexibility is good. I especially like the fact that the Active Feed actually offers 4K video because I like to switch between photos and videos and sort of having the best of both worlds to me is it's it's what I choose and it's more yeah. flexible. But to say that I mean both cameras both are cameras are good excellent. and, and yeah. there's trade off, right? I wish I had a touch screen on the X one hundred F. I wish it had Bluetooth for the trigger. That would be really nice and then quickly pairing and but it's just trade-offs like these cons does not necessarily stop me from using this camera right. it's just things that i would wish i would be able to use but yeah i think um the hybrid evf mm, you know yeah. very cool feature and then that's a trade i can make between the hybrid viewfinder and the bluetooth for example because i can still remotely control it i can still transfer it's just a little bit more steps to get right. to it and so I think uh, we have choices, uh, you know, we want some flexibility, you have the, the X-E3, 
you know, you want the uniqueness of just having a camera that's all in one without any hassle, street photography. Mm -hmm. The X1 have probably is a, a good choice for you as well. But the awesome flexibilities uh, of switching interchangeable lenses. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I would check, uh, you know, the local retail stores uh, in your area. Pick up both. I think they're equally sized. And it's really up to you in terms of your preferences between flexibility and simplicity yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and design and style. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, again, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Fuji Guys. And until, until then, next time, it's Francis, Chunky, and Billy. And we're the, the Fuji, Fuji Guys. guys. <laughs>